Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Devil Recon here, and today we're having a different tutorial. It's not actually different, it's a new Cinema 4D tutorial that I think most of you know it, and most of you don't know it. And it's the 3D logo masking tutorial, I think. It's how to convert 2D logos into 3D all in Cinema 4D, better than just putting it in Photoshop, then masking it in it, then converting the masks in Photoshop and Cinema 4D. Anyways, so we're gonna start here. Um, yeah, first tutorial as being Devoration, so let's get started. I did a preview in the Cinema logo here. Yeah. So yeah, let's get started by doing it. Now, first thing you'll need to do is you you can't do this in, you can't do this in the perspective mode. So you have to be in the front view, top view. So how uh, we can do this by pressing on the view button over here, and we're gonna go to front. I prefer front because if you do it on top, the logo is gonna be on top, top, and you have to rotate it. So click on front. Now we did some work here. So. What you need to do is we're gonna go going to go to options and you're gonna click on configure configure. Now you're gonna see some tabs here, you're gonna click on back. Now we're gonna click on image and you're gonna put your 2D image. I'm gonna put the devil logo picture where I I, I took a snapshot of. So you have your 2D logo. Now we're going to convert this into 3D by picking our Bezier tool and we're going to do a put mask on each of the um, each uh, each part of the logo so yeah we're doing this good it's better than doing it in Photoshop as I said and yeah make sure to close the logo by hitting this button over here Hitting this flying dot, sorry, English sucks. Extrude nerves, and you're gonna click on extrude nerves. After that, you're gonna make this the spline a child of this extrude nerve. If you wanna check if that's right, you're gonna go to perspective and you're gonna see the logo. When you see the logo, we're gonna do the next spline. Yeah, and yeah, it's very important. As you see, we see a 3D part here. We will not match this because we're gonna do a 3D as you know, so we don't have to match the 3D, you know, it's gonna suck. Extrude again. And the, the last one. Extrude. Now we're done here, now we can go to the to the perspective view and you can see your logo here nicely done now what what I do I add my colors here I'm gonna add a blue color some reflection for now it's gonna make about 50 and I'm gonna add it to the logo So yeah, you have your 3D logo, I think, I guess. It's better than doing it in Photoshop, as I know some of you don't know this, but it's better to put it on Cinema 4D. So thanks for watching first tutorial after joining Devil. I'm gonna be posting a lot of tutorials, I think. Maybe some cool Call of Duty edits. I'm not gonna edit Wolf Team anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It was Devil Rick in here, and peace out.